Hi friends, in the previous video we have seen about the template, template URL concept and also style and style URL options. What are the different options present in the, uh, what are the different options present in the template, uh, your template URL option and also style and style URL option you have seen right. Now we will go to the last option in the component that is nothing but selector. Okay, as, as, as I mentioned for the template, template URL, style URLs options, so we, we also have different types, we can also mention different types for the selector also. Right now what we are doing is, here we are using app iPhone root, for example we will go to the users component instead of going to app, here we are having app iPhone users, okay, we are having app iPhone users means, this, this app iPhone users we are using we are using automatically directly here as an app iPhone users as an element okay as an element tag name we are using now if you want to use this app iPhone users an attribute you can also use that one as an attribute also for example if you go to here this is the selector if you mention this one you need to mention you need to call this component as an tag name only and also what I can say is this yeah, component this com selector name should be unique for in all in the in this angular project okay why because if you if you, if you can you cannot override the component with other components same same component names same selector names okay now another way of representing this one is for example i can write here selector selector app hyphen users is there right so I can keep this one in a square brackets. Okay. Now this one will con will be converted into the attribute. Okay. Now what I need to do is so if I check the output here, I will not get any output. Why? Because we are having we are getting an error that one sec. Yeah, we are getting an error that app iPhone users is not a known element. I am unable to find that app iPhone users it is saying. Now we need to see here and we will go to app component.html instead of instead of defining this one as an element we need to convert this one as an attribute if i convert this one as an attribute now here for this div element i added this app iphone -like users as an attribute now if you go here and if i check the output if i try to refresh this one or if i save uh, i did i save okay i didn't save this one now if i try to save this one I save and if I try to refresh, now I am getting the same output. If you go here and if I inspect element, if you check the output, you will get the same output. You will get same output. What I have used, so here I use it like this one, right? So app iPhone users, I am using the same thing as an app iPhone users, and also in the users component.ts, we are using selector as an app iPhone users only. Okay. Now if I try to refresh it here getting refresh now we are able to get the component same components we are getting get users component user component we are getting the same thing but we are representing this one as an attribute not as an element okay now here now what i can do is here see if you see here we are getting this one as an element so here you will be able to see the attribute it is hosted for this one okay for this development app and users as came as an attribute we have given. previously you go inside this one so like this we have got as an as in separate html element we got as a app of user but we now change it to the attribute okay another option what we can do is we can also change this user component as uh, this one and also we can change this one as selector as dot app hyphen users so we can also represent this one as an element as an attribute or also as a class name also we can also use this component as a class name also now what can i do is i will go here and i will change this one to class is equal to app iphone users now i change this one to class is equal to app iphone users if i save this all the files and if i go and if i refresh it here what could be the output let's see so the here the output is we are still we are getting the same output but we use this one for the development as a class if you see here if you go here you'll be able to see here that it is the for this development it is app iphone users as a class it is applied and also you can apply the css for this class also you can use this class and also you can apply the css for this component for the attribute also you can use, use that one as a component for selector also as a tag name directly you can use this same thing how we have used for h3 so we have user for h3 right so as 
not in the user so i think yeah as in h3 we have written we can also write as an attribute if you are using that one as an as it not attribute as an element you can use like this as an attribute we can use that something like div of bracket same thing like css selectors how you will be using you can use some div space uh, div div of app is equal to something like this we can use as a css selector and also if it is a class means you can use div dot so we can apply it to the css for this component or otherwise if it is only as a tag name as an element as a as an element if you have used means you can use like something like app fn user also you can use this one as a you can you can use the styles for that one so this is the way how we can represent the three ways of defining the component name so we can use so you need to remember that we can use it as an element as a tag name or other as an attribute and also as a class name also we can use the component most of the generally we will be using as an element only we will be using as an element only element only so we will be using as an element. rate cases we will be using these all things class name and attribute binding so for attribute binding and all those things we will be having a concept something like directives we will discuss in the later videos but here we will be having we can be using most of the time using an element selector only so that means directly adding that one as an html element adding as an html element of new class app hyphen users we will be using that one as app hyphen users directly tag okay so this is all about the component selectors template url and also style urls so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post comments below to this video and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you